Good evening, it is Brad again, and I've got a list for you today of Dinomorphia. It's a little trap deck. I've used it quite a bit, and I think my list's alright, so I thought I'd share it with everyone. And basically it's the, what are you playing? Well, this is what I'm playing for, well, I have been for a while. We're playing Dinomorphia Diplos at three. There's only two Dinomorphia monsters, which is Diplos and Theresia. Have to play three of each. They're incredibly useful. One Misk, because Misk is just amazing. Then uh, two copies of Lord of Henley Prison to protect your back row for when the people try to in interrupt your plays. And three Ash, just uh, potentially to get extra monsters. And Ash has a use in this deck, which I will explain later on. Apart from it being just a nice negate. The spells, we don't play a lot of those. It's just a standard of three fossil dig and three duality. Duality for the extra draws because you, do, you don't need to special summon during your turn. All your traps can special summon during your opponent's turn. So just to add to your extra consistency to get into your uh, copies of fossil dig, maybe an ash for next turn, or some Therizia or Diplos players. Alright, so then we're going on to the traps. Uh, we'll start off with Triple Judgment, just to stop your opponent doing, well, anything really. Just to, just to nope them out. Uh, three copies of Ferret Flames. Real good tech in this deck. Just uh, the lower your life points are, basically. You have to make the combined attack of what monsters your opponent controls. That is higher than your life and make them equal or lower. Or is it lower than your life or equal to? So if you've only got 100 life, you have to make all cards they control lower than 100 attack. So you can just wipe out their entire field with it. And then I play two copies of Dynamorphia intact. Which is just uh, when a monster effect is activated while you control Dynamorphia, negate the activation and destroy that card. Then it's also got the effect of all the other Dynamorphias, which is when you would take effect damage, you can banish this card and you don't take that effect damage. Then I play one alert and one sonic. I think one sonic and one alert is fine. But alert is just to summon two that equal eight, so you, it will summon a Therizia and a Diplos. Just to do your extra plays. But it says you can't attack with those, and you can't special summon monsters from the rest of the turn except for Dynamorphia. That's fine. Sonic is just the negate spell and trap. You could run more. But I've, I've been doing a bit of testing and one Sonic is fine for now. Three copies of Domain. Your fusion spell. Real useful. Goes into your big boy players. Uh, two copies of Brute. They have your life points. Destroy Dynamorphia monster you control. And one card your opponent controls. It can be it can come up. It has come up a couple of times for me. Not as often as I'd like though. One brute is probably enough, but I think I think two is a nice safe bet. And then we play three intact. No, no, not intact. Three frenzy. Which is the fusion spell for your biggest boy, Rex term. It's quite a nice it's quite a nice card, that one. And then just to round it off, we play Three imperms. It's a trap in a trap deck. Just stop your opponent doing any of their combos. And then I play it as my, my little side tech things. Soul of the Supreme King. Pay half your life points. Summon Zark. And if your opponent plays a spell, split Zark into four separate pieces, which it, it, it can be useful. It, it can happen. And one tech choice of Imprudent Intrusion. If your life point you know, your life points must be lower than your opponent to activate this effect, the effects are either destroy one monster your opponent controls with an attack equal to or less than the difference in your life, or special summon a monster from your graveyard with attack e uh, attack less than or equal to the difference in your life. So that that has come up a couple of times for me. And for the extra deck, we've gone for the boys. 
Brave Eyes Pendulum, Clear Wing Synchro, and Predator Power. Uh, I didn't go for the fourth sign uh, dragon because I thought it's not as useful really. These three are usually enough. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. And then I went for two Zarks. If you like, you can swap out one of the Zarks for the fourth Cyanide Dragon. Not Cyanide Dragon, the fourth Zark piece. So we've got that, and then... So this, the tech I did with Ash Blossom was you can go into Pep. Because Ash is three, and most of your fusions, which I'll show you in a second, are eights. But these are also eights. So a lot of these are eights, and uh, so you can use Pep because you'll be on low life. So you'll be able to hit for a lot of damage. Then you play one dark because all your monsters are darks. Steal your opponent's uh, combo pieces because a lot of decks you're, you'll be facing right now are also darks. Oh, there it is. I do play the fourth sign at uh, the fourth piece. There we go. He was in the wrong order. I do play, uh, play the fourth one, which is Ark Rebellion. The so two Zarks are just because I can uh, have three copies of this spell. So I play two Stealth Burgier, three Kent Regina, and two Rexterm. Just to round out the extra deck. So for tech choices that you can play instead of your ashes, you can go for you, you can go for drolls, which are real useful right now. I found a lot of use recently in Ghost Mon and Moonlit Chill. Because you can just burn your opponent for a game. It's a nice little negate. Can be fairly useful. Or you can go into any kind of kaiju. This one just uh, this Jizukiru is representative right now of Dogaran because I couldn't find my copies of Dogaran for this video. But say that these are Dogaran, you can play Dogaran. Ghost Ogre's fine in this format right now. Even Book of Eclipse can be useful. Just if you need to eclipse their cards to wipe out a couple of their things. A Rex Term is big enough to out all their cards. Swing over them for massive damage. So it's a nice little, uh, it's a nice little deck. This it's a bit gimmicky. You do brick quite often because there is not a lot of Dynamorphia monsters, which is why another one of the techs I would have, I can also play, is Druma Cannon, just to book all their things, get rid of their big things, and then you can go in for your fusion players. That's another little tech choice you can add. So if there's anything else you think uh, I can add, let me know in the comments. Well, maybe together we can build some really cool jank decks. And hopefully I'm gi uh, give you some ideas. If you were to build Dynamorphia, with like things like uh, Impudent Intrusion, which is a nice little common. Soul of Supreme King's nice. Just don't forget about this guy, because he's actually pretty useful. Just don't forget about him like I did. And you've got like, your tech choices, which is your Ash. Because if you, if you were to get rid of your Ashes, I'd recommend swapping it for one of the other Ghost Girls, who is also level 3. Not that pile. It's fine. Uh, this one over here. Which will be like your Ghost Dog and Snow Rabbits and your Moonlit Chills. Because these are also your level 3s. So you'd swap those out for potentially Ashes. So, and there we go. That is my list of Dynamorphia. So I'll see you guys again next time.